What's going on, everybody? This is Patrick with MTO Productions. How are you doing? Uh, I'm gonna do a quick walk around up here on the square in Lebanon, uh, in the same county I live in. Um, I keep forgetting there's a car show in town this weekend out towards the fairgrounds. I'm not going out there, I don't want to get in that mess. But I've got a camera with me that I haven't shot with on the channel yet. This is a Canon Rebel XTI um APS-C sensor we'll put all the other little specs down here at the bottom of the screen but uh I've just got a Canon this is um I think it's a 24 millimeter prime lens yeah 24 millimeter prime lens um it's in and out of cloudiness all day so I don't have any special filters on the camera but uh we're gonna get out we'll walk around and we're gonna check out everything and um go from there so i have shot here before i'll tell you this before i get out i have shot here before uh many times but it's just a lot of old um architecture and the buildings and stuff and it's really cool and who knows i may get a couple of hot rods here and there driving by we'll grab some pictures of them but uh, anyway, let's get out of the truck and let's get at it. I can really see much. funny in the my little town of Mount Julia it's you don't have a lot of old buildings at all at least here in Lebanon they still have the square so all of that is still well the old structures and it's the difference between a town that's or a city that's been around for a long time versus mine that's fairly young so Hopefully you can hear me pretty good saying to myself and everybody else driving by here don't care. I'd like to be able to get where I could take a picture of the train depot. They've totally redone and the only way you know it's train depot is because well the way it is. And if I take it from here, it's gonna be a good wide picture, but I don't know if I don't know. We'll take it. We'll see what happens with it. But I know that's the old train depot. If I can get there, we go. All the SUVs out of the way. I 
Gotta remember, I'm shooting with this 24 millimeter lens. I don't have any way of doing anything different. Maybe next time I'll bring my 85 instead. I can do a little more pinpointing stuff. So, right now I think I'm gonna we're gonna go somewhere else. It's busy here. It's a Saturday. It's gorgeous out. Of course, it's going to be busy. So, anyway, let's uh, look around and see what else we might go. Okay, so, I have used the Insta360 as a primary film camera before. Uh, when we went to Daniel Boone Backcountry Byway on the Mid 10 channel. And now that I think about it, now I've had a minute to think. That's my only camera I had for that video. I shot everything off of this camera. For the most, if I'm thinking, I'm thinking it was 95, maybe 97 percent of the whole video was shot on that on this camera. And like I said, I just don't know how the audio is going to be. It was in this case too, so I, I'm pretty sure the audio was pretty decent then. Um, I don't know. It's been a while since I've actually shot with this as a primary camera. So we're going to see. But um, I've got one more place I want to go to. We're going to take a few pictures. And then uh, we're going to head. We're going to be done. Uh, it's hot. It's 90. I think it says 94 on my watch. My truck is always off. It's 105 on it. It starts getting really hot. It starts getting way off. But anyway, we're going to go. Um, yeah, I got one more place we're going to go to. And we'll go check it out. And we'll be done. Okay, so this is the old site of Castle Heights Military Academy. You can see it right over there. There's Castle Heights Military Academy Museum and Archives. Uh, that's in that building. There's actually a old, um, cannon not like Civil War cannon, but old cannon. But this place was opened in 1902, I think. Yeah, 1902. I'm going to grab a couple of pictures of the main old building real quick. Then we're going to get a couple. I don't know how these are going to come out. With... It has brightened up since I started today. Um but the building down there is where i shot all of um my daughter's prom pictures it's right down there uh using that eight that uh um, thing down there in the porch and everything on the front end but it's um the old sign sitting right here i want to take a picture of the back side of it be different but um anyway I actually knew a couple people before this closed that actually went here. So, pretty neat. Um, I think it closed in the early 80s or mid 80s or something like that. I can't, I can't remember offhand. But anyway, that's going to be it for this little short video. I just wanted to get this, the Canon rebel xti out and shoot with it and bring you a little something about it um it's been a fun little camera to shoot it's lightweight uh if you're probably wondering i had a nikon uh d40x you're probably wondering why why aren't i shooting on that one because it's just as old as this one well i gave it to chloe to shoot on so that's why i i can't she's got it but anyway, um, let me snap one more. I do have a sky filter on this thing. I don't know if it's going to do anything. Skylight filter. You can see right there. So we'll see how it comes out. But uh, that's it for this one. I appreciate you watching. Um, stay tuned to the next one. We'll get out and shoot something. Mm -hmm.